Open source projects have changed the way we see the software industry. Developers don't get tied up to a single organization, rather they contribute to projects which they prefer to. This is a significant change from the way a traditional software is developed in an enterprise. This is the first kind of a video in Tech Primers. We are collaborating with Jeff Mayerson, the founder of FineCollapse.com. He is also the host of Software Engineering Daily, a daily podcast which covers the trends in the software industry by interviewing experts on a daily topic. I have been a fan of Software Engineering Daily and I have been following the podcast for over six months now. Without further ado, let's hear from Jeff on what Fine Collapse is all about. Let's get started. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primers. Hey Jeff, welcome to the channel. It, it's been a pleasure to have you here. This is the first time I'm like collaborating with someone outside my networking community. And uh, this is the first time, in, in fact, I'm like showing my face for people, right? I have never uh, showed my face in general. So um, uh, this is good, good uh, conversation, which we had previously earlier. And again, I wanted to thank you for joining us um, in the call today. And let's let's uh, talk about Fine Collapse, right? So what is Fine Collapse? Like, why did yeah. you start off uh, with Fine Collapse? Um, when you were already doing software engineering daily, I have seen your works on software engineering daily. It, it's pretty impressive uh, over the period of um, uh, time how the podcast uh, industry has evolved. Now everybody wants to start a podcast, right? It's it's not like and, and I see software engineering daily as these uh, the root of all these, right? I mean, uh, you know, <laughs> like the number of people who follow your uh, uh, podcast, it, it's tremendous. So why did you start Fine well, Collapse? Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, well, first of all, thanks, Ajay, for having me. Uh, congratulations on the success of, of your channel, and I really appreciate you, you having me on. Um, I started Fine Collabs because I have always liked creating projects, uh, not necessarily within the context of the workplace. And I like the idea of people self-assembling into projects that they are interested in those projects can be businesses they can be music projects they can be software projects but the general case that find collabs is solving for is you're a person on the internet and you want to collaborate with somebody else uh, you don't have anybody in your immediate network who can collaborate with you how do you find a collaborator and build a project? Right. So a typical example is the video which we are making. I think right? we met in findcollabs.com and I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm a fan of um, your voice. And now I get to see you in person. And it, this is a typical example of a fine collab um, success story. We have found collabs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. So let's uh, jump on to what um, fine collabs is. Maybe you can walk through us on um, the UI of findcollabs.com so that I can get uh, our subscribers interested in Fine Collapse so that they can contribute to open source projects. Sure, absolutely. Uh, okay, so I'm I'm sharing my screen right now. So what you see after you log in, well, first of all, you create an account, and I can show you the a brief introduction mm -hmm. to the account creation process. Um, mm -hmm. So when you create your account, it's it's a very simple onboarding process. You just fill out your your name and your profile picture and a quick bio and then some interests. So my interests are podcasting, business, music production, software architecture, and mm -hmm. game design. I like all these different things. So by filling in some interests, it'll help me find people who have shared interests. Um, after you fill out your profile, you can um, get you get put into the feed area. So in the feed, you can see different projects that people have posted. Uh, here we see this guy is working on a, sel a self-publishing platform. Josh Burns is working on an open source self-publishing platform, a platform with the tools and resources for anyone to self-publish things like documents, white papers, etc., without censorship. That sounds like a cool project. Um, here's a browser-based RPG. So if you're interested in making games, 
like me, I like game design, I might click into this one. Um, so there's a lot of different projects. So when you land on findcollabs.com, you see a feed of projects. And you can scroll through those different projects and find one that you're interested in. Uh, that is, if you're interested in, in looking for a project that is already created. Um, so let's assume we're we are interested in just finding a project that we're already that that has already been created. Um, so there's uh, a project that's that's quite popular on the platform called Software Daily. So this is uh, this is the open source platform that uh, that we built around Software Engineering Daily, and uh, so we actually use Find Collabs to find collaborators for the Software Daily project. Um, so the Software Daily project, uh, as you can see, there's a lot of people who are, uh, who are involved in it. Uh, there's an Android engineer, there's, a jo there's some JavaScript engineers, there's iOS QA people, there's iOS engineer, um, and these different people are uh, collaborating, they're, com they're contributing in different uh, capacities to the Software Daily open source project. Uh, on the left hand side you can see a bunch of links that um, that you know help you kind of understand what's going on with the project you can see design documents you can see github issues you can see some notion issues there's a Trello board there's a lot of guidance in terms of how to get started and how to contribute to this project so this project is pretty far along um, it's a more advanced project but there's a lot of there's a lot of projects in find collabs that are just getting off the ground so you know, if you're just looking for a project that, that, that's just getting started, there are plenty of those. Um, and I think those are good for people people who are just learning to code, perhaps somebody who just came out of a boot camp, uh, like a coding boot camp, or uh, somebody who's just in college, and you're just looking for something to contribute to. You're just looking to get some code done. You're looking to, to collaborate with somebody else because, you know, we, we learn better if we're working with other people. So here's here's another project, um, language learning by reading. Uh, this project was posted a couple days ago by uh, a guy named Adam Upchurch, and he's posted a a screen video of uh, his MVP. And uh, if we were to watch that video, we would see how his app works. Uh, it's pretty cool. And if you're interested in working on a project. There are roles. So, for example, this Adam has. Uh, he's looking for a programmer. So, if I'll just I'll just click it, even though I'm not gonna uh, actually join. Um, well, I'm, I'll join real quick and then I'll leave. So, I say I'm gonna join the project, and once you've joined it, um, you are you are now a part of the project. And as you can see. When you join a project, it gives you some information in a light box. It says, "Thanks for joining the project." Uh, please take some time to contribute because we really want people to take these things seriously. Uh, I've had a lot of experiences where I collaborate with somebody and they kind of like flake out and they don't don't contribute to something. And I've flaked out too before, like that that happens. But um, we we do want people to try to take these things seriously and to try to collaborate with each other and 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 set a stand, set set a good standard. There's kind of an onboarding thing, and what's really important is that at the end of your work, you will get a rating. So uh, this is how we, we, we're going to build reputation into the platform so that if you help out with a lot of different projects, you're going to have a bunch of positive ratings at the end of it. And that means that, you know, let's say in the future you want to start a company and, you know, you want to find people on Find Collabs to start a company with. If you've got 20 five-star ratings from a bunch of different projects, people are going to trust you. And so you're going to be able to find the other people who have 25 star ratings and you're going to be able to start a company and you're going to be able to trust each other because you're going to have a history of work with each other. So if I were to just, you know, if I were to join this project, you can see now I'm a programmer with the project. Um, I can see some tasks. Oh, he actually doesn't have any tasks posted, but if he would have added some tasks, I would be able to see some suggestions for how I could get started with my work. Um... And uh, but since I'm not actually going to uh, to work on this project, I'm just going to leave it. Um, so that's the basic premise of it. I, I think I'll just walk through just the creation of a project real quick because you know also this is definitely for for people who 
who have their own project. It's not just for finding collaboration on other people's project. If you've got a project idea, you should you should create it. You uh, you can you can lead a project. You can make uh, something and have other people gravitate towards you. So yeah, I had a subscriber uh, two days ago. He was asking about a review of his design pattern, what he had come up with. So he uh, his name is Amit Jain. He dropped me a mail and then I just redirected him to find collabs and he's looking at it right now. I don't know if he has already created awesome. it, but uh, this video will be a kickstart for him so that he can create an idea on how he can get reviews on his architecture design pattern. Well, right. So that's when he was like, I, I can even uh, come to your video. He was he was mentioning that he can collaborate with me and create a GitHub project so that he can put the code in my GitHub organization and then we can do a refactoring review on that particular project. This is definitely a good place to start for him. And uh, this is a good thing um, that you're showing up on, on how we can create a project. Go ahead, Jeff. Well, we, we want to see how to create a project. Well, Amit, uh, if you're listening to this, I would love to review your design document because uh, I need some five star ratings. So if you can, uh, <laughs> if you can invite me to that project, <laughs> I would love to be a part of it. Uh, but anyway, yeah. let's let's give a let's give a quick walkthrough for how to create a project. So let's say we're creating a new project and we're gonna call. Let's just say it's a design document. Okay, uh, design yeah. document for my distributed database. All right, uh, JeffDB is a new distributed database. It's ACID compliant. <laughs> That's it. Based on your SE daily, I, I'm pretty sure you know the exact uh, selling point on every database. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, actually. <laughs> You know, it's strange. There's so many new databases these days, and I yeah. I honestly cannot yeah. keep track of what like which ones are different. Exactly. So uh, if you've got some some links, like if you know if you had a GitHub repository, you could add like you mm -hmm. know GitHub.com slash JeffDB or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. And after you create the title of the project, then you can add the roles. So um, if we're looking for reviews for a design document. Uh, you know, we have these set of roles. We're going to expand the, the different roles in the future because um, none of these quite fit what you're looking for. If you're looking for a review of a design document, you should be able to write mm. that role. You should be able to write, you know, a, right. you know, design reviewer or something. Yeah, a custom role, basically. Custom role. We need that. So, yeah. but, yeah. you know, in the meantime, I think probably, okay, so my role is, uh, I guess I'm the project manager pretty much. Like, I have... Yeah. Um, I designed Jeff DB and uh, need reviews. I'm going to save the role. And uh, I'm looking for a programmer, uh, looking for an experienced uh, programmer to review my design doc. Uh, so you can add the role, and then you're done. Um, and after you create the project, you can add some categories. So mm -hmm. this would be an open source project. It would be distributed systems, database, databases. Sure. Done. And and then we've created it. Um, can we add new roles? Uh, for example, let's say over a period of time, yeah. we realize the project is huge right. now. And we want more contribution, so yeah. Totally. Can you show what does that? Okay. You can mm -hmm. you can completely change the project. So right now it's called design document for my distributed database. Um, mm -hmm. We could edit it and call call it, um, you know, Jeff DB, a new distributed database. So you can take your project from. Mm -hmm the just the basic idea and mm -hmm. you know go all the way from the basic idea to your fully fledged version of the idea got it so so after so let's say let's say this is how we created the project it was called jeff db a new distributed mm -hmm. database now we can make some tasks the tasks could be uh review the design document um Test for global consistency. Um, build a UI layer. Anyway, that's some pro that's some tasks, mm -hmm. um, and and collaborators can claim the tasks. 
So if I like mm-hmm. if I'm a distributed systems expert and I know how to test for global consistency, I can claim a task. Mm-hmm. I can claim that task. Um, and now I'm going to be testing for global consistency. And uh, so let's say yeah, mm-hmm. like uh, I'm doing the Jepson tests or something. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, and then after I've I've done them. Uh, I can go back to the tasks mm-hmm. and um, and mark it off, and I'm done with it. So I've have d- tested for global consistency, and then I could I could even issue a collab update. So a collab update sends a notification to all the people in the collab. So I could say um, I finished testing for global consistency. I'm done with this project. Thanks for helping me collaborate. And then you post an update. And everybody who is following this project or who is a member of it sees it. Does that make sense? Yep. Sounds good, Jeff. So that's the basics of Find Collabs. And, you know, there's also like a notification system. Uh, there's mm-hmm. a system, you know, you can follow people, you can chat with people. It's pretty open-ended. We want people to discover their own workflows, and we don't want to be overly prescriptive. We just want people to be able to more easily collaborate with each other. So I also saw that you had lots of events going around in Find Collapse. So do you want to talk about that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. We would love to have entrance into our hackathon so we're having a hackathon called the Find Collabs Open. We'll we'll have more hackathons in the mm-hmm. future. Uh, the Find Collabs mm-hmm. Open is it has twenty five hundred dollars in prizes, uh, and and the prizes you know they go to different categories. So we have prizes mm-hmm. for a machine learning project, a music project if you're a musician, visual art if you're an artist. Um, you know if you want to mm-hmm. start a podcast, we have a prize for a podcast project. Cryptocurrency, computer game design. We've got a lot of different categories, and the judges are really cool too. We've got mm-hmm. Pete Hunt, mm-hmm. who actually created React JS. So the best React JS project will be judged by by one of the co-creators of React JS, which is really cool, um, and and some other high profile judges. So um, so yeah, thanks for reminding me of of the the event. Uh, I think you know if if you if you've even just got a project to post. That's all you need to do to enter into the into the into the Find Collabs Open. We would love to have you collaborate too, but we'd also just love to have you post your open source project that you're excited about. So, in summary, Find Collabs is a place to find collaborators and build your projects. If you are new to the software industry, or even if you've been in the software industry for a long time, uh, I think it's helpful to build projects. If you're new to the world of software that means that you probably have not built many projects. And if you don't build your own projects, then you're going to get hired into a large corporation and you're not going to learn to be autonomous. It's really important to build skills that allow you to be autonomous so that if you have an idea for something cool, you can build it yourself or you will know how to hire people and get that project built. Um... Even if you still want to work for a large corporation, it is a liberating feeling to know that you have the necessary skills to go out and build something on your own or with other people. And even if you're not looking to build a piece of software, I think it's strange that we live in a world where people are not collaborating over the internet on music and movies and art and podcast. Well, I mean, we are collaborating on a podcast somewhat, but um, I think there could be much more collaboration. And if you're spending your weekends working by yourself, I hope you can check out Find Collabs and and find other people to uh, to communicate and collaborate with. Thank you, Jeff. It, it's been a pleasure to have you in the show. I hope you enjoyed coming to the channel as well. Uh, I would like people to go back to. Uh, findcollabs.com or software engineering daily so that you can show your love to jeff and his team who has been putting this together definitely take a look at findcollabs.com for contributing to open source projects and creating open source projects 
So Jeff also has the software engineering daily podcast. Do check out these podcasts. The link is in the description below. And I, I think you can see in the sc screen as well. So Jeff is opening the software engineering daily dot com. You can listen to the podcast. Jeff, do you want to uh, tell a few words about the podcast? Certainly. I started Software Engineering Daily four years ago. The goal was to create a daily podcast about software engineering and technical software topics. So we cover software engineering, business, investing, everything that's related to software, uh, cryptocurrency, distributed systems, JavaScript, security, open source, a lot of different topics. And the reason I like the podcast format is because you can consume podcasts while you're doing other things. So if you like to exercise, or if you like to cook, or if you like to go on long walks, you can do these things while you're consuming podcast content. And I think that differentiates it from uh, no, no offense, video content. <laughs> Although there's absolutely, there's absolutely a place for video. Yes, content. I do agree. I do agree. Not many people have that luxurious time to spend more time on videos than hearing. Like I was saying uh, to you personally, I, I listen to your podcast when I do other stuff. So I do multitasking when I listen to podcasts. So it's definitely a great start. And I watch lots, I watch lots of videos. Like I watch videos when I'm eating dinner. Uh, that's that's like my my kind of video time or, or eating breakfast um okay you know or or just relaxing but uh but when i'm when i'm active when i'm running around or when i'm you know doing something that occupies my hands then mm. podcasts are, are are a better fit and i think there's just a lot of time in the day for mm. um for that modality great again it, it it's good to have you here uh, jeff it's been a pleasure to have you in the channel and um, uh, subscribers, if you would like Jeff and me to go live, if you're interested um, in uh, speaking with Jeff live, do let us know in the comment section below. I'll definitely arrange uh, for a time with Jeff. It's very difficult to uh, find Jeff and his free time. So definitely uh, do let me know and uh, we can collaborate with Jeff and then get to know more about Software Engine Daily and Find Collapse if you're interested. With that, we'll close off the collaboration. Thank you, Jeff, for uh, coming to the channel today and uh, spending your precious time with us. Um, I hope people found it interesting. Yeah. It, well, Ajay, we should also mention, mm -hmm. and by the way, thank you for having me on, but we should also mention that you'll be on Software Engineering Daily in the near future. Um, yeah. And, you know, we'll talk more about the the giant platform you've built with Tech Primers and uh, and and I want I really I'm I'm looking forward to hearing your vision for how software media is going to play out in the next several years because it's a uh, it's really an emergent emergent area. There's a lot of software media companies and but there's a lot of software engineers to serve. So so with that, I also will be um, uh, interviewed by Jeff uh, in his podcast. So if you want to uh, listen my voice alone, you would have seen my videos with hands-on stuff. But if you want to hear my voice along with Jeff's voice, do join the Software Engineering Daily podcast. I'll be uh, airing on that soon. So I have a schedule with Jeff. Um, somehow he managed to squeeze me in his busy schedule. So you can get to hear from me a lot from there as well. So do join the Software Engineering Daily podcast. Well, Ajay, thank you for having me on the show. It's been really fun to talk to you, and I'm very honored to have come on Tech Premers. Congratulations on building such a big platform. Thank you very much, Jeff. We'll see you again. Absolutely. Thank you. As always, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to it. Meet you again in the next video. Thank you very much.